Help you with something? Sure, my friend. I'll send you the details. Take us to the Felisa on Western Highway, near Chumash. Word of warning, we're on the job right now, so don't let the cops notice you. If they come after us, we call it off. So, my taciturn friends, I suppose you want to know how we're doing this. Well, funny you should ask. We're driving out to the bank, taking a look at it. Look at it! We're taking a look at it, picking up some equipment, and then heading back to make our plans. Not very complex at all. <laughs> we're not going in, we're not poking it with a stick. We're just sitting back and taking a look. You see, uh, I like my scores like I like my dates. Across the street and unaware they're being watched. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, so why this bank over all the other banks in the state? Why does fortune favor this one? Hmm? Another good question. You're full of good questions. You're like a child whose parents think it's clever, or the IRS. Ugh. Well, this bank's got some safety deposit boxes, and in one of those safety deposit boxes are some bonds being hidden from the tax man that no one's gonna report missing. Starting to uh, make sense. Security should be light, well, relatively light. Light if your daydreams are raids on the Union Depository. Quite heavy if your day job is turning over liquor stores and gas stations. And the bonds in the box will be worth more than a few rumpled notes from a till, so... The minor escalation is worth it, if you can handle it. Plus, you know, the sea view. <laughs> Nothing like staring at the ocean while you contemplate money and power, incarceration, and homicide. Yeah, all those weighty issues surrounding your first foray into serious armed robbery. I'm assuming you're kind of a cerebral crew, because otherwise this whole not-talking deal just kind of puts you on the spectrum. Okay! Right? <laughs> okay, 
Well, how about we just get there and see where we're at? There it is. Take a look. Drink it in. I've patched into their security feed on myself. Take a look. Hmm, what are we looking at? Um, small joint. Not much security. Staff won't give a crap. <laughs> Especially about the deposit boxes. Customers will probably be thinking uh, how to turn this into a screenplay. <laughs> the boxes are in the back behind the safe door. We want box number 167. Yeah, it's right on the highway with good access. That works for you. Get out quick, but it'll also work for the cops. Speed up their response time. Okay? Okay. Oh, Enough shit. of this peeper crap. Let's go to the garment factory. Okay. Now, when you hit the bank, you're gonna need to hack into its security system. I've written a neat little program that'll do most of the work for you, but it's probably a good idea for you to familiarize yourselves with it. You, in the passenger seat, I've sent it to your phone. And take it for a dry run, keep your hands steady, and maybe the wet run won't be a disaster. You're a really bad driver! together hard copies to go on a notice board yeah plus all the equipment we spoke about I'll be over to collect it with uh, those people yeah mm, charming as ever okay see you soon hey passenger seat did you get into their network good work she's loading the hardware into the back of a truck tools for the job things for you to wear on a job your attire will depend on the role you're performing as a job gets more complicated so will the uniforms if you're likely to be seen by civilians you'll be provided with a couple of masks then when you go into the bank you can choose one that uh, goes with your eyes <laughs> and hey there's the added bonus of none of your favorite comic convention outfits being linked to a major crime <laughs> whoop de doo where were we ah masks Paige. oh yeah uh, we'll go over there pick her up Go back to your place to plan this thing. I can talk you through the planning board later. That might be helped by a visual aid. The rest is pretty self-explanatory. Listen to me, do what I say. Bullets go in here, come out there. And if you're ever caught, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> I couldn't resist. What the hell? Calm the fuck down. There's Paige. We're leaving this car, taking the truck. Ugh, I should be using my cane. Hey. Now 
Now it's back to the apartment. Is it all there? I think so. You want to get out and check, go down the inventory, or are you happy sitting there making a perfect butt imprint in your easy wipe seat? I'll take your word for it. Thank you. It should all be there. The clothes, guns, headsets, pole balls, masks, the drill, the files with all the photos and surveillance work. Hey, there's enough here to make us all look real suspicious. Nice little conspiracy to commit robbery charge waiting to happen. What, they're gonna charge us with thought crime? Not so much thought as everything but the deed crime. We'd be caught with our pants down and a hard-on out to here. Well, we're not getting caught. These are professionals. So I hear. The cheapest professionals money can buy. I like to think of it as investing in new talent. And until you and me start playing low-rent Bonnie and Clyde, that's the way it's got to be. She didn't mean anything by that, by the way. Uh, she's just a little brusque. If they were offended, he would have said something. Okay, okay, okay. Now, Paige, we'll set up a board for you, won't you, Paige? <laughs> I'd let you do it if you could reach. I mean, I didn't see any milk crates for you to stand on. <laughs> mm hmm. The uh, most important thing to look for in an employee is respect. You can't get anything done without respect. <laughs> Where was I? Uh, oh, yes, yes, uh, the room. And Paige is setting up this board on which you will plan your scores. You'll use it to uh, set out all the prep work you need to do, uh, select your crew, figure out how the take from a score should be split up. So you need a crew to take a score. But only one person can be in charge. Respect. Hmm? Isn't that right, Paige? Blow me. <laughs> all right, it's blow me. You're only gonna need uh, one thing for this uh, for this job. It's a high-speed armored car. Now, instead of getting one legitimately and leaving a nice long paper trail to your front door, you're gonna be jacking one from a nasty Korean crew and leaving a nice long paper trail to their door instead. <laughs> this is good to go. Hey, here's your board. Good, good, good. And when you're ready to move on the car, go over it, study the plan, tick it off the list. You must be methodical. This isn't just a dumb crime. Well, there, there is an element of that, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and when you've got the car, we'll come back here and talk bank jobs. <laughs> bank jobs, bank jobs.
New TLK shit for y'all. Gotta pull it back before I drop it on your ass. Jobs. Oh, what do we got here? Uh, oh, yeah, the car. Okay. You're on the way to Del Perro, a Koreatown stick-up cruise, but using a parking lot as a base for scores. Oh, wow. They're into extortion, uh, credit fraud, stolen cars, and some uh, mini major robberies. I'd expect them to be packing, and I'd expect them to be paranoid. Come to think of it, you won't find a bulletproof car in the hands of anyone who doesn't have a healthy dose of paranoia. So be careful.
bring it to my garment factory. And try not to damage the car too much. You can't rob a bank in a wrecked car. Okay, I'll look after this. Lester will come by your place when you're ready to go.